Hey everybody, it's Razorblade, and before the video begins, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a heads up. So, while recording for this video, Brandon's audio kind of captures both me and the movie all at the same time. Um, and this is going to cause a bit of an echo, so to speak. I try my best to clean it up and everything during the video and everything, but if you do hear that kind of audio overlapping and stuff, that's that's kind of what it is. So, um, like I said, I try my best to clean it up and everything, but it should be fine. It should still be a good video anyway, and it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So, if you're hearing an issue with the audio, that's probably what it is. So, I just wanted to let you all know, like I said, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And as always, I hope you guys enjoy anyway. Stay awesome, guys. What's up, everybody? My name is Blade, and I'm here with a very special guest. Everybody, you know him. You love him. You get kind of annoyed when he talks too much about Lion King, like I do. I feel the love. It's Brandon Crocker. <laughs> Brandon Croker, actually. <laughs> or Croker, sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's Bambi Man. Yeah, Bambi Man. Yeah, y'all remember him. We reviewed Lion King uh, 2 together. Yes. He has a habit for breaking into my house. And possibly annoying Chewie, I'm not quite sure. No, Chewie really likes you. He, he likes you just fine. Huh. I don't know why. I think it's because, we, I think it's because he, he likes that you annoy me, too. <laughs> I, I, he, he likes it because I let him win. You know. Yeah, because yeah, he just you just stand by and you do nothing. He tries to kill me and everything, and you just watch. I'm I'm a spectator, you get, really. Yeah, you get the popcorn and everything, basically. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> okay, so you want to tell everybody what we're doing today? Uh, well, everybody, uh, Razorblade has graciously asked me to join him on a collaboration review of a very beloved uh, Disney movie, or at least a beloved uh, cult. Hit uh, from the Di from the Disney Animation Studios, Robin yeah. Hood. Yeah, it's 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 not as beloved as it should be because I'm just gonna say it now. I love this movie. I think it's so good. Me it's too. It's a great movie. Me too. Yeah, this, this is like, like it, this is definitely like a like a eight eight point five out of ten for me. I love this movie to death. It's so good. Oh yeah, it's definitely just fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like I would have to say this is easily one of my top ten favorite Disney movies of all time, at least animated wise. It, it's hard for me to know. Or where I'd rank it, because there are a lot of Disney movies I really love, as you probably already know. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Lion King's number one. Oh well, actually, it's Zootopia, believe it or not. Oh really? Okay, number two then. Uh, yeah, Lion King's number two, and then uh, it'd be like a, a Zootopia, Lion King, Fox and the Hound, uh, Bolt, Treasure Planet, uh, and Robin Hood would be like uh, somewhere mm -hmm. in there. And again, I'm not quite yeah. sure. Yeah, Treasure Planet would be in my top ten too. Maybe maybe even top five to be honest. Oh yeah, yeah, that movie yeah, is so Treasure good. Is so good. That, it did, that beast, movie did not. Me, deserve, the, that movie I, did not deserve to be the biggest box office flop. I swear to God. Yeah, it did not. It did not at all. Um, for me, it would be have to be like Beauty and the Beast. There's, uh, like I guess I love Lion King too. Um, I think I'm trying to think here. Zootopia is a really good movie. That's like a definitely nine out of ten for me. Um, there's. Um, Let's see, there's there's Treasure Planet as you said. Yep. Um, as I'm thinking, I'm thinking here. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking. I can't. I don't know. Like usually when I'm when I'm asked on the spot, it's like when I'm not thinking about it, I know the movies. But when I have to think about it, it's yeah. God, I don't know their names. Yeah, it's I don't pretty, know their names. Yeah, it's it, it's pretty tough. Disney's yeah. made a lot of movies. It's like they're one of the biggest companies in the world or something. Yeah, they yeah they own everything now basically. Yeah, pretty much. They own they pretty much own us technically. They own YouTube technically. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're gonna own DreamWorks at some point. But anyway, today we're going to watch Robin Hood first. Yes. So that we can get our thoughts together and everything like that. So Brandon knows the ins and outs of this movie as opposed to me. I don't know anything much about the production life of this movie. I just I know I love the movie. Well, I know uh, only like a few brief things about the production, but uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you you've sent me things. You send me emails and everything telling me about the little facts here and there, which we'll probably go more in depth with with the, the actual review. Yes. Um, but for now, we're just going to watch the movie. We're going to enjoy it. We're yes. going to laugh. We'll probably make fun of it, yes. but in a, in a loving way, because that's what we do. Obviously. But in the end, we, we love this movie, and we are going to enjoy it. So yes. I'm going to pull the movie up now. All right. I remember I watched this right as Disney Plus release. Like, I had to go back and watch it again. Yeah. That was the first time I saw this movie in, like, years. Yeah. It really has a nostalgic feeling. Well, we folks are the animal king. This is the first one with a cock in it. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. Roger Miller. 
King of the Road. Okay, first thing I'll say about this movie, the music is pretty underrated in this movie. Oh, yes, definitely. Like, nobody, nobody talks about the music in this movie. It's so good. Yeah. And there's actually one particular song I have an interesting fact for, but uh, I'll, I'll talk more about it when it uh, plays that Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah. I like how they just call Maid Marian a straight up vixen in this movie. Yeah. It's a movie for it, kids. Yeah, it's like they know. I mean, that's technically what she is. Yeah. But when you when you get older, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The best character in the whole movie right here. Oh, yes. Lady Cluck with a K. The best character. Yes. I love the designs for these animals in this movie. Like, they're all really good. Yeah. Like, this is like... This is like prime Disney anthropomorphic animal design at its finest. Oh yeah, definitely. Like Disney would never get this good again, honestly, up to this point. Yeah. Like, I'm just gonna say it. It's better than Zootopia. That I said it. That that's just that's heresy, my good sir. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Heresy. <laughs> Robin Hood and Little John walking through the forest, laughing back and forth at what the other has to say. Pictured here, not laughing at all. I don't know, I'd be kind of pissed if I just fell in the river like that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Although, if it were a hot day, I'd be grateful. I can remember that commercial with the animals. Oh, yeah. That they, yeah. they used this song. Yeah. And it's over. It's a short song. Yeah. It's nice. It's a nice melody, but it's just really short. Yeah. You must be joking. The next time that sheriff will probably have a rope around our necks. I must say, it's interesting to see what Baloo did after Mowgli went to the man village. A naughty. Boy, are we in debt. You and me both. <laughs> and now our introduction to one of the most underrated Disney villains of all time. Yes, Prince John is an awesome villain. Peter Ustinov, rest in peace, good sir, man. Like, so many people write him off as, like, this big man-baby and everything like that without realizing that's what makes him such a great villain. It, it's what makes him threatening. Yeah, he's... Oh, oh, oh. I just love his laugh. <laughs> he does have a good laugh. You look real, dignified, sincere, masterful, noble, chival... Don't, 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 don't overdo it. You know, when Disney makes a live-action remake of this movie, they're probably gonna make his gay because of how much dick he sucks in this movie. Well, I mean, I guess, I, I, guess, I guess we'll see. It's what they did with the Foo and Beauty and the Beast. Ready to go on to slaughter thousands, the name of our Lord. Truly, That's what the was. Crusade did. That's technically what the Crusade was. <laughs> yeah. A lot darker now that you think about it as an adult. Oh, yes. yes. Although, look at the times we're living in. I mean, come on. Fun fact, those bejeweled rings are actually candy pops. Yeah. You know, his could easily take over the kingdom if he wanted to with that hypnotism power. Oh, yeah, definitely. A little OP, if you ask me. <laughs> I love how he uses his body to cross his arms like yeah, that. That was really, very that's nice a really detail. clever. I like that. That's yeah, funny. Very that nice was detail. clever. I'd like to question where they got those outfits, but I'm not sure I want to know. It's animation logic. Yeah, we don't have to explain it. Wait a minute, there's a law against robbing royalty. I'll catch you later. Yeah, because there's no law against robbing other people either. <laughs> Just another ad. There's a law against robbing royalty. <laughs> well, I'll rob from everyone else, but royalty, that's where I draw the line. Yes, totally. Mmm, oh, raspberry, my favorite ring pop. <laughs> Now, Prince, now, oh, Little John's just being gluttonous. Yeah, totally. And his is getting his kink on, if you ask me. <laughs> not that I'm judging. No, we're not judging here. <laughs> Glow, babies. Glow. We're waiting. Wonder where you got the fireflies at this time of day. Uh, I'm going to guess. Animation logic, don't question it. Yeah, pretty much. The crown is on his noble brow. Udalali. A crown! How exciting! It's not like I already have one on my head! Oh, wait. Okay, I'm just gonna say it now. This is kind of bullshit how he gets away with this so easily. Yeah. Like, those guards can't be- those guards can't be that dumb. Yeah, they have to see him, like, right there. In front of them. They have to hear the money going shh. 
Yeah, I mean, come on! How dense can you be? And he somehow survives that without a scratch. Okay. I love Pat Burns' voice so much. Yeah. Like, he had, so, he had one of the most unique voices in animation. I love him oh, yeah, so definitely. much. Did you see it mention God in a kids movie in a Disney? Oh God, no! <laughs> well, greetings from your friendly neighborhood. Spider Man. I mean, tax collector. Go. Oh. Yeah, subtle. <laughs> yeah. That's not a problem in this case. Like that's that's obviously the point that he's this scummy. Yeah. You know, I talk a lot about unlikable characters in this channel. Sheriff of Nottingham is an unlikable character done right. He is just so unapologetically scummy. Yeah. And everyone in town hates him. Oh, yeah. Like, whenever I see an unlikable character, they try to, like, justify it with some crappy backstory. The sheriff? No. No stupid backstory. He's just an asshole. Straight up. And everybody treats him like that. Oh, That's yeah. what I like about it. He's a great, he's a great, hateable character you love to hate. He's so good at being an asshole, and I love it for him. I love hating him. Yeah. Yeah, and Disney has made a lot of great characters like that that you know, are unlikable, but you just, you love hating them. You know, it's not like a hatred exactly. where, it's not like a hatred where you're just like, okay, this character's bad, but there's nothing interesting about them. Or, the world treats him like he deserves to be treated as a scumbag. Now how do I look? <laughs> it just hits, him by, hits her sister by accident. <laughs> Love Robin Hood as a character. Yeah, I don't think he's the most in date. He's the, he's not the most deep character, but he is likable, and you do root for him. Enough. Absolutely. Like he's got a solid personality. He's not super deep, but he is likable, and I think that's good enough in this yeah. case. Yeah. Oh! Oh my God! Ah! Oh! <laughs> he hit somebody actually. My leg! My leg! My leg! Wait, are we under attack? Oh my god, sound the sirens! We're under attack! Or, Gentlemen. not the sirens, but... Ring the bells! There's like, we're under attack by somebody! Oh no, you see, you're under... I didn't mean to shoot them. Okay, I'll just kill your family and burn your house then. That should be enough. <laughs> That's enough of punishment. I love Lady Cluck so much. She is the best character in this movie. Yeah. She's just so fun and, for lack of better terms, clucky. How did they not notice the arrow hit right behind them? Yeah, the, you, you think they'd notice that. I mean, it's not like it's a small arrow. Don't look around, but I do believe we're surrounded. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Don't look around. <laughs> Immediately looks right at them. <laughs> Tell Skippy you were shooting too high. I'm so very glad he did. He could have killed one of the guards! <laughs> or something. <laughs> Rape? Pedophilia right there. Not consensual. Sorry, I'm just... Not, not consensual. Te technically! Not consensual. Pedophilia. I mean... Technically, yeah. 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 He didn't want to do it either. Maid she Mary forced it on him. Made Mary in his over party. That's no life for a lovely lady always on the run. What kind of a future is that? With the power of God, you can do anything! <laughs> <laughs> you notice how his has like fur on his body despite being a snake? Uh Yeah, I see it. It's kind of this it's kind of from the sketchy design of him. Yeah. He's got that fur look to him. You know, hairy fur on snake. Snake. Yeah. Yeah, see there's the fur and stuff on his chest there? Yeah. Oh, it's weird. That is kind of weird. A little bit. Bridges. Did you know my mother was a bushel bridges? <laughs> Plot twist. <laughs> Sheriff Donahan is his mom. <laughs> Allow me to lay some protocol on you. Uh, no, uh, forgive me, but I lose more jewels that way. He's a my ring pops. My candy. Mine. Oh my. 
I think I will admit those. I wonder why Hiss stays with Prince John despite how shitty he's treated, you know? Yeah. He figured he would side with Robin Hood later in the movie, but he never does. Here's a fanfic out there that explains this. Oh, probably. Do they have helium balloons back in the medieval times? Yeah, totally. I don't think this movie's very realistic. Minus five stars, zero out of ten. Not realistic. Yeah, this, this movie sucks. I take everything I said back about it. Flying snakes with helium balloons? No. Not realistic at all. Again, everybody hates him, regardless of how good he does. Again, because he's an asshole. I like that. Well done, Disney. Them phony disguises. It's him. It's Robin Hood. He's got a fine ass, too. Better than mine. <laughs> Better than mine. Ugh. <laughs> Hey, can somebody remove the alarm clock out of my throat? Hacks? I call hacks. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Here's another really cool thing about Prince John as a villain. He knew pretty much the whole time this was Robin Hood. Yeah, he... He had a, tra he had a trap set, and it works. And he... Like... And he... Like, he's not as dense as he seems. Like, he knew... That Robin was the stork all along. Like that's really showing he's not as stupid as he seems. Children look away. No, children watch. I want them to watch. Again, it's because of how childish he is. That's what makes him so threatening. Yes. Like, he's willing to do whatever it takes to stay in power and get rid of anyone that questions him. And that Rhino, though. The only way, yeah, the only way Robin Hood gets away is because of this desperate act from Little John. That like, there was no backup plan. This was an act of sheer desperation. That's the only way they escaped today. But Little John, man, <laughs> just... Now for the best scene in the entire movie, the, esca the uh, escape. Yes. This whole entire scene, the next like five minutes is like just pure bliss. It's time for me to cluck some rhinos up. Hey, who's driving this flying umbrella? Where have I seen that before? <laughs> okay, where have I seen this before? And they somehow changed out of their clothes. You know, as you do. Man, the new NFL game looks really different than the last one. I must say, Remember the Titans is, is, is weirder than I remember it. Who that snake of mine getting drunk again? I'm gonna be honest, this song is the weakest in the movie. Yeah. It really doesn't, it just doesn't do anything for me, to be honest. I can see that. Like, maybe if they were singing themselves, because Little John sings later, and plus you have the narrator who's in the movie. Like, he, he sings. Yeah. What's interesting is that this is one of two Disney songs that would be featured in another animated movie about Fox's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Damn it, Robin Hood, stop reminding me that I'm single! <laughs> same, same here. Here's your new home. A shitty little camp and whatnot. Oh, how robust. You know what's kind of nice about the song? Like, it's like how the main characters are actually singing a song, like, basically saying, screw you to the villain. Yeah. Which you usually don't see from Disney. Like, usually the main characters have to be, like, super good and nice. But in this movie, the, the main characters are like, no, screw this guy, he's terrible. Yeah. Yeah, because they had country in the medieval times. Yeah. Not accurate. Not historically accurate. Getting zero out of ten. Before he knows we're there, old Rob will snatch his underwear. Rob's a panty snatcher. If I was Robin, I'd be like, Rob, uh, underwear? I want his money, damn it. <laughs> Again, such an underrated song. That is a jam. Yeah. That, that is a that, freaking jam. As the kids say, it slaps. Yeah. Even the villains are singing the song. It's that good. <laughs> yeah. Singing a different 
taxes. Squeeze every last drop. Again, like, you diss him, he, he takes it out on you. Yeah. And he's not afraid to punish the entire city just for singing a song about him. Again, without dating the video, this is basically what Donald Trump would be in medieval times. Yeah. He'd be a tyrannical king. Yes. I love how they let him keep a weapon in prison. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that seems like... I'm not a prison expert, but... Very counterproductive. Look, our poor box is like our church. Empty. That means the church can't take its fair share. <laughs> yes. I'm sure the Pope would really appreciate that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta go. Go burn down an orphanage and run over puppies. This is actually a really cool looking castle. Yeah. I mean, it's not Bell's castle, but it's like, it's alright. Okay, another reason why he's so cool, like, he, he's not just some greedy a-hole who just cares about money. Like, he kind of descends into madness over his revenge for Robin Hood. Yeah. Kind of like, like Zero and Lion King, too, to be honest. Uh, honest. It's a little, yeah, it's a little more than just a greedy dick. Yeah. You know, look at, you know, when you think about it now as an adult, like, that's actually a really risky thing to do for a king during this time period. You couldn't just kill a man of the church like that, even if you were a king. Yeah. You know, I just realized something. Like, May, Marion, and Clucky are just kind of gone from this part of the movie. Yeah. They don't show up at all here. Yeah. But you figured they, like, they at least there'd be, like, one scene or two to see where they are right now, at least. You know, at least to check up on them. Yeah. But they kind of just disappear from this part of the film. You, uh, let me loosen that nail. <laughs> For kids? Kids movie. <laughs> G-rated! Sheesh. You take his belt off one time and he's having dreams about you. <laughs> he's that easy. Wait, who's rocking my carriage? <laughs> I love how he went through all the trouble to dress up and everything just to immediately attack him anyway. Yeah. Like, what was even the point of that? Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Honestly, this is like one of the coolest climaxes for a Disney movie. Like, it's really intense, it's fast-paced, and and it's, it gets really suspenseful in a minute. Yeah. Again, like, this part's actually really intense. Yeah, fucking all, the, all that fire, man. I don't know if you know about the movie's alternate, alternate ending, where he actually got injured from this fight. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Premature, we haven't even seen the body, but whatever. We could have swung twice that far, huh, Mr. Robin Hood? Don't push it, kid. I almost died. I don't know what you're going about, Robin. They can still shoot at you right now. Yeah, they could. Start running. Start running now. Yes, they could. Another great thing about Sheriff Nottingham, he actually gets punished in the end for being an unlikable twat. Yeah. Along with Prince John and his, yeah. But at least he actually gets punished. Yeah. But at least they look like fashionable zebras now. Mufasa's great, great, great as hell grandpa. Yes. And he's also played by Peter Yusinov. I'll, I'll be happy when Clucky gets her own direct video sequel. Yeah. That's one I will actually take. Yes. Please. Totally the way it really happened. Yeah, with foxes and animals and everything, and snakes being able to blow up balloons and fly with them and stuff. Definitely how it happened. 100% realistic. All over, fantastic movie. I really love it. I actually really think it's really good. Absolutely. So, yep. All right, well, that's the Let's Watch, guys. I guess we'll see you for the review. With that being said, we hope you enjoyed. Brandon, thanks for watching the movie with me. Thank you for having me on, man. Of course, no problem. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay awesome, guys. Rock on. Rock on.